west of the clear coast, some ocean giants have arrived. I wonder what St. Brendan and the early seafarers in their open boats would have made of these creatures. Basking sharks. I can only imagine how many sharks they would have encountered in the Atlantic waters a thousand years ago. Did the sharks terrify them? Or did they perhaps spend time getting a sense of the animals and their quiet nature? We see basking sharks for maybe a week or two every year in sunlit spring waters when they arrive to feed on plankton and then just sporadically over the summer. They then disappear in early autumn for another eight months. Where do they go? We're really not sure. There are almost no winter sightings of basking sharks in our inshore waters. They appear to be gentle giants, but we really only see them when they're feeding on plankton at the water's surface. Gliding gently to catch as much plankton as they can, filtering it from the seawater with their gill rakers. But I'm not convinced they're just docile creatures. At up to 10 meters and five tons, these are intimidating animals to meet in the open ocean.